It's officially been one week of trying TikTok shop. Today, we're gonna open up the curtains and share with you guys my results, what worked, what didn't work, and at the end, I'm gonna give you guys a pros and cons analysis of what I think about TikTok. So, for those that don't know me, my name is Trevin Peterson. I've been selling things online for the last eight years. Started with Shopify dropshipping, then I went to Amazon. Just in the last 12 months, I've done over $1.3 million on Amazon. And then with that same brand, I've done over six figures on my Shopify website and I've started TikTok shop one week ago. So we'll dive into my sales, how much I spent on ads, how much I spent on affiliates, my entire strategy, was I profitable? And at the end, we'll break down the pros and cons. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment, and let's get into it. Now, the goal of this video is to help you understand whether or not TikTok shop is worth it for you or not. And after this seven day test, the results are shocking. And the first thing that I wanna talk about is the learning curve required in order to get this thing up off the ground and running. So like any platform, it's gonna take some time to get used to. I've been selling online for eight years and I've done it all. I've done Shopify, Walmart, eBay, Etsy, Amazon, and now TikTok shop. And when I compare TikTok shop to the other platforms, I'll be honest, it's actually pretty easy, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't take time to set up. And it doesn't mean that just all of a sudden I have it set up in 30 minutes and boom, I'm printing money there's still a lot of work and a lot of learning required to start. And I wanna set those expectations very, very clear. I have a lot of experience with e-commerce and for me, like it wasn't the most complicated thing, but it wasn't like the easiest thing either. So what you can do is go to Google, type in TikTok seller account and you'll sign up. It's a pretty straightforward process. It'll take you about five minutes. Once you create your account, you'll need to enter in your tax ID numbers and basically get things set up and you'll link a TikTok account. So if you already have a TikTok account for your brand, that's super easy, you just link that. But if you don't, you have to create one and then you want to link that. Then from there, you need to create product listings. This is a pretty straightforward process, basic information. You got a title, you got your images, you got your description. Uh, you'll put the price, the UPC code, and boom, you create it. There are apps and tools that you can literally sync to your Shopify account or your Amazon account and import all of the products. It is a paid tool. I didn't do that, I just did it manually. And it took me a few hours to import all of my products, but I learned the process and I wanted to really understand how things worked. From there, I created my ads account and this is pretty seamless. You literally just go in and you hit marketing and you create your ad account and it just links. And that's what I really love about TikTok shop is everything is in one place and it's super easy. It's not like Shopify where you're trying to connect 5 million pixels between Facebook, Instagram, Google, Snapchat, Pinterest, like it's just all under one umbrella. And so it's pretty simple. And so once you have all that set up, you're basically ready to go to start getting sales. And my strategy is at the very beginning is I started to do organic content. I started to take some of my videos and I started to upload them to TikTok and you can tag your product. And if that video goes viral, well, people will start seeing it and they can start purchasing it just from organic content. So that is a huge pro to TikTok is, hey, you can create these viral videos. If it goes viral, you can generate sales without having to pay for traffic. But in my case, it didn't work. I didn't generate any sales. And so my next option was to start running paid traffic. And this is where things get got really interesting. And I'm just going to kind of share with you guys the results after seven days. So here it is. We did $800 in revenue in seven days. So the organic traffic didn't work, but the paid traffic slowly but surely started to work. And I'm going to share with you guys a lot of learning lessons that I basically had throughout this entire process. And you're probably looking at that number, $800, $798 in revenue. And you're like, ah, oh, that's nothing. Like, that's pocket change. But for me, for a brand new platform, not having any experience, no previous knowledge, $800, that's not terrible. Like I was able to generate $800. And if we compare that to my first week on Shopify, well, I know I did a thousand times better because I think I got maybe one sell on Shopify. My Amazon business, I don't think I did $800 in a week. Actually, I, I know I didn't. I probably did like $200, $300. So this is better than Amazon. But the golden question is how are profits? And we'll kind of break that down. But $800, that's my honest results in one week. And we're going to unpack a lot of great things that you're gonna want to stick around for. So if you guys are enjoying, please like the video, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, and let's dive into the costs 
of advertising. And this is a screenshot of my TikTok ads manager. So as I mentioned, organic content wasn't working, so I decided to create some ads. And what you can do with these ads is you can take your organic content and just basically boost them. And you can target specific audiences. It's pretty similar to creating like a Facebook or Instagram ad campaign. It's probably a little bit more simple. And so you can create these campaigns. I created five, I ran them for seven days, and you can see that I spent $500 in ads. You can see my conversions was a whopping six. And you can see my cost per acquisition was extremely high. And with these numbers, I was spending way more than what I was making. Like I was losing a lot of money and I'm like, is this working or am I doing something wrong? Obviously I'm doing something wrong. Like, is this legit? Does it work? And so that's when I had to go back to the drawing board. So my organic, content didn't work but my paid content it was kind of working like I was generating some sales but obviously I wasn't very profitable but I was like okay I'm just gonna trust the process and I'm gonna continue on and what happened next is pretty interesting and this is one of my favorite parts to TikTok shop as I was promoting my products TikTok affiliates started noticing and they started to reach out to me so inside your seller account inside TikTok you can basically assign affiliate uh, percentage commissions so that if somebody sees your product and they want to promote it, they know, okay, you'll get 5% or 10% or 20%. If they make a video talking about the product, they generate a sell, they'll get a little kickback. And that's what I ended up doing is I decided to create an affiliate program and I said, hey, anyone that promotes my product will get 15% commissions. And that's when people started to reach out to me. I had two people reach out, one person, I was like, done, let's do it. I sent him the product and within two days, he got my product and he made a video just yesterday. And this is where results started to pick up because obviously organic didn't work, spending money on ads, I'm losing money. And just yesterday I did $364 in affiliate revenue. So this individual, one person made one video talking about my product and it's starting to gain some traction. I'm hoping it will continue to go up but again, this is just the seven day results and one video, $400, where I spent $500 and got $400 in sales. So when we look at the comparison, I spent a lot less money on the affiliate side. And so that's when kind of the light bulb went off and I'm like, look, I don't need to be spending hundreds of dollars on ads. I need to be focusing on getting affiliates. And so that's my strategy moving forward. And so I got a second one and I have a third one on the way and I'm hoping that I can send these affiliates free product. They'll make the video, they'll tag my product. And if that video goes viral, then my affiliate revenue is going to continue to grow and grow and grow. And it's a little bit more sustainable and it's gonna be a lot more profitable because I know my costs. I know that, hey, I'm sending them the sample and I don't lose any money unless they generate a sell. If they generate a sell, I know that I'm profitable giving them only 15%. And so that is the strategy that I'm working on now, but I wanna give you guys a complete profit breakdown when we take in and factor all of those different things. So we did $798 with those 12 orders. My cost of goods and shipping was $314. So this is one thing that we'll talk about at the end, just a con, the shipping and logistics, it's been a disaster. But anyways, $314. The ad spent $500, obviously that's kind of terrible. The sample, so this is me sending the product to uh, the TikTok affiliates. So I sent two of them. One has made a video, the other hasn't. Um, hopefully they, they will soon. So I included the, the $50 there. The affiliate fee, so what they generated, the 15%, they're gonna get $54 in kickback. So when you add that, that up, I profited a negative $120.49. Now, that number, yeah, that's sad, I lost money. But for me, I'm gonna take that as a win all day long because I learned a ton along the way and I figured out how to navigate the entire platform. And now I have a strategy moving forward that I think is going to be a lot more profitable and that's focusing on the affiliate side of thing. The ads, I'm gonna dial those in. I'm gonna get better content. I think the content just wasn't very good. So I'm gonna optimize that a little bit. But for me, brand new, no prior experience. This is my first time trying it. To only lose $120, that's not terrible. 
And now I've got 12 individuals that have my products in their hand that could potentially reorder, tell their friends, go buy it on my website, go buy it on Amazon. The more people that can have my product, the better. And so $120, I would say is a pretty good learning lesson. It's not too much money lost, but you know, it still stings a little bit and it motivates me to get back to the drawing board and continue on. So that's kind of the profit breakdown. And as you just saw, there's a lot to unpack and there's a lot of learning lessons. And so what I wanna do is give you guys my last final thoughts and give you guys a complete pros and cons analysis, breaking down TikTok shop. Let's dive into the first pro and that is it's new and has a lot of potential. I think we're early on, which presents opportunity. And I think it's something that we need to capitalize on quick. But looking at it from the flip side, the first con that I wanna talk about is it's new and there's still a lot to learn. And I think that there's still changes that are gonna be made. I think the competition might get a little bit stronger, ad costs might go up, finding affiliates might become a little bit more difficult. And so that is, again, something to consider. But right now, I think the opportunity is great and I think we're early on. And the quicker you can basically adapt this new marketplace, I think the more you can take advantage of it. Jumping into it, the second pro is it's another marketplace. So adding another marketplace is fantastic. It diversifies your portfolio and it adds additional revenue streams and revenue potential. Now, that doesn't mean you're gonna be profitable as you saw with my test, but obviously as I continue to optimize, I hope that I become profitable. Um, but looking at that from the flip side, again, adding a new marketplace, it requires time and it requires effort. So this last seven days, I was neglecting my businesses because I was spending so much time focusing on TikTok shop. While my other businesses are running and working and I'm making money on it, well, I just neglected that and I spent a lot of time to lose $120. Now, I developed some skill sets that I'm hoping to turn to profits here in the future, but that is something to consider is it takes a significant amount of time to get things set up. So understand that going into it. The third pro to TikTok shop, which I think is the biggest pro, and that is the affiliate program. I think the incentives for the affiliates to promote your product and the potential to just crush it with just affiliates, I think is astronomical. I think there's so much potential. And obviously with my ads, I think there's potential. I just didn't optimize right. But as you saw with the test, I was way more profitable with the affiliates. And so building out that affiliate base and having 50, 100 of them, well, you're going to start to crush it. But that leads into the con of shipping and logistics. And that's where things get really complicated. So TikTok doesn't have this figured out like Amazon does. And so either you have to fulfill the orders yourself, so you have to be sitting in your house or your garage or warehouse and fulfilling orders, or you can partner with a 3PL, or you can integrate your Amazon account to TikTok. And there was some problems with that. And so that is one con. And if you guys wanna see a video on how I kind of solve that, I'm happy to do that. But that is a con. Fulfillment and logistics is just not as seamless compared to, for example, selling on Amazon. Jumping into the fourth pro, and that is the viral effect. If you can have a video go viral, whether it's an organic post or an affiliate post, like you can generate significant revenue and it doesn't cost you a fortune to get exposed to millions of people. Where if you were to pay like Facebook ads or Google ads or even TikTok ads to get that exposure, like it's, it's just impossible. So if you can have a viral video, that's what you wanna do. But on the flip side, it's a little unpredictable. If you're relying solely on viral videos, well, you might have one month where you crush it and another month that you don't because you didn't have a video that goes viral. So you need to master and understand how those viral videos work and how you can get predictable income. Where right now for me, TikTok shop is very unpredictable. Like I, I don't know if I'm gonna be profitable. I don't know if I'm gonna sell. I, I don't know if I'm gonna wake up to a bunch of sales or not. So that is uh, the fourth con of TikTok shop is it's just not as predictable yet. Jumping into the fifth pro is having and adding TikTok shop to my brand. I think it adds a lot of brand value. If I can add another marketplace and I can generate revenue and I can get my product into more people's hands from an investor side, if I go to sell my brand, if I go to sell my business, it becomes more valuable because I have additional revenue streams. I have additional marketplaces. And I think that's something to note. And jumping into um, that fifth con of TikTok shop is the profits. It does no good to sell on these marketplaces if you're not profitable. So if you can't turn a profit, then it makes zero sense. And obviously my first seven days, I was not profitable. Again, I'm hoping to turn that around. And I think with my strategy moving forward, I will, but I did need to throw that in there. 
Jumping into the last pro of TikTok shop is the content side of things. Having content is king. It's so valuable and getting content created can be expensive, but as you're building up affiliates and as you're getting people to promote and talk about your product, you're just getting organic content that you can then use and repurpose for other platforms, which is super valuable. And again, it adds more value to your brand. And jumping into the last con to TikTok shop is not every single product will work. Out of all the products that I pulled from my seller account to TikTok shop, some just didn't work and I haven't sold anything. And there's been two main sellers that have worked. And so what I'm thinking is there are certain products that are going to work better on TikTok than others. So you can't expect every single product that if you sell on Amazon, if it's doing well, you can't expect it to do well on TikTok shop. So you might be in a situation where you can't even sell on TikTok because your product just doesn't fit and people just don't want it but that doesn't mean that you can't try. So you need to understand that going into it is some products will work, some products won't. It's the same thing with every platform. Some products just work and some don't. So it's gonna take some effort and there's that learning curve. But that's kind of the, the breakdown, the pros and cons. I think there's a lot of pros. I think there's obviously some cons as well, but I'm going to continue growing my TikTok shop and I'm gonna be continuing to implement these different strategies and I hope you guys got some value. I hope you guys learned something. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below or let me know what you want to hear or see in the future. Again, subscribe, share this channel with a friend, and we will see you in the next one.